Hello, and welcome to the Grey Hatter's tutorial on how to draw a dog. Today, with my special guest, Billy the Dog, we'll be learning how to draw a very cartoonish dog where you can apply realism where you want to. Now, for those of you wondering, Billy is a human name, but this is the name of my dog, so I decided to name this cartoon dog Billy because Billy's lovely and he deserves to be in my video so today we're going I'm going to teach you how to draw the best cartoon dog ever named Billy so step one and this is the probably the most important part of drawing any dog is drawing the doghouse now your doghouse needs to protect the dog from rain or snow or any environmental hazards such like that yeah so we draw him a little hole so he can get through into the doghouse and we'll draw him a little window so we can pretend it's a house but it's not a house it's a doghouse because Billy is a dog and not a human so you want to make the 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 house very comfortable to live in so instead of sleeping on your face at night he'll go your dog will actually go to this house instead now so once we have the house out of the way, we can go on to step two, which is realizing that our house looks terrible. I mean, this is just terrible. Like you see this and you're like, wow, why is he even making drawing tutorials? Because it just looks like poo. Like if I compare this picture of poo that I just drew to this picture of a house, they look exactly the same. So for step two, we get Extreme Makeover Home Edition to help us with our house. And it wouldn't be Extreme Makeover Home Edition if we didn't have the main protagonist slash hero, Ty. Now we gotta get Ty's spiky hair, weird wrinkles that are just all over his face. You don't know how they got there, but they're just there. He's not even that old, but he just has lots of wrinkles. Now Ty is very sunburned, so we just had to put a little bit of pink on his face that just a little bit don't want to put too much otherwise you'll make the same mistake I did and summon Divex the space worm from planet 7 who has come to eat your dog and try to yeah which we don't want so what we'll do instead of having our dog being eaten we're gonna take this dog house move it copy it paste it move it down and equip the house with defenses to defend against Divex from planet 7 I will for this tutorial I'm going to equip mine with a bow because I play a ranger in D&D and World of Warcraft and I have never died to Divex from planet 7 because I always have my bow which always gives me plus 7 dexterity which is good because I'm a ranger but maybe your dog wants to go for a full warrior build or something I it, it's your preference and it's all up to you but this is what I have for mine but if you do want to go the warrior route I would also recommend building trenches in front of your doghouse preferably with spikes maybe with a with the totem pole or just a pole with the head of the other space worm that you've killed make sure that a little bit's like dribbling off so it, it's really just gross and he's just like oh no oh no that's not good so if you want to go full warrior build I would recommend building defenses but I already rolled my character sheet out and his name is Gondor the half elf and he is a he is a mage he gives plus 20 intelligence minus 30 strength because he's a mage he's not supposed to have strength plus 147 dexterity because of the bonuses from the bow and then minus 400 constitution because he's a dog he's not a human he doesn't have a constitution like we do america thank you for watching